we know that x, y, z, a, b, all of these are called variables. And then the terms like x square, y cube and so on are also called variable terms. Next, if we write a term say 2x, then x here is the variable while 2 is called the coefficient. Also 2x is called an algebraic term. In fact, terms like 3y cube and only the single variable a are also algebraic terms. Because even though we can't see a visible coefficient, we can write the variable a as 1 into a. And so, 1 becomes the coefficient of the variable a. Now we can also write two or more algebraic terms together. For example, 2x and y are both algebraic terms. And so if we write them together, separated by an addition operator, we get 2x plus y and this is known as an algebraic expression. So whenever two or more algebraic terms are separated by plus and minus signs, then the resulting expression is known as an algebraic expression. Okay, have a look at all these expressions right here. Can you tell me what's common amongst them? Let's see. 3x square plus y square is an algebraic expression having two terms which are 3x square and y square separated by a plus sign. Similarly, 2ab minus 3bc is also an algebraic expression having two terms and so is abc minus 5ab square. So, all three of these expressions have two terms. Now, take a look at these expressions. The first one is a plus b plus c and it has three terms. At the same time, abc minus 5ab square plus 3a is again an algebraic expression having three terms. And then we have this expression, x plus 4z minus 6xy plus 3xz plus 2, which is an algebraic expression having a total of 5 terms. And at the same time, terms like 2x, y, ab, minus 10x and so on are also algebraic expressions having a single term. Now, based on the number of terms in the expression, we have different names for these algebraic expressions. If the expression contains one term, then we call it monomial. Next, if it contains two terms, then the expression is known as a binomial. At the same time, trinomials are algebraic expressions that have three terms. If we have more than three terms, then the expression is called a polynomial. Now let's say that we have two terms, 3x and 10x. If we observe these two terms, can we notice something similar? That's right, both of them have the same variable x. And in this case, 3x and 10x are called like terms. Okay, quickly moving on. Let's take the example of 3x square and 5x. Again, both of these terms have the same variable x, but are they like terms? Well, they aren't because the degree of x in 3x square is 2, while the degree of x in 5x is 1. So what about 3xy square and 5x square y? Now, even though they have the same variables x and y, the degrees of the two variables in each of these terms are different. And this makes them unlike terms. So in a nutshell, we say that for two algebraic terms to be like terms, they should have the same variables and the variables should be raised to the same degrees in both the terms. For example, ab and minus 5ab are also like terms. That's because both of them have the same variables a and b and both the variables are raised to the same powers in the two terms. Now that we have an idea about what terms, expressions, variables and coefficients are, let's put our knowledge to the test. Let's see how algebraic expressions can be added together. So there are two ways of adding algebraic expressions. One is by using the vertical arrangement and the other one is by using the horizontal arrangement. Say we have two algebraic expressions with us. The first one is x square plus y square minus 2xy and the second one is 2x square plus 5xy minus 3y square. Now to add them by using the vertical arrangement, 
We'll start out by writing the first expression in the first row where every term will be written in a different cell. Next, we will write the second expression below the first one in the second row and again the terms will be written in separate cells. Here, the most important thing to ensure is that the like terms have to be placed below one another. That is, when we write down the second expression below the first one, we have to ensure we write the like terms in the same columns. So, 2x square will be below x square. The next term is 5xy and that would be below the xy term. And finally, minus 3y square will be below the y square term. Now, we will simply carry out the addition by adding the like terms together. And when we add the like terms together, we simply perform the addition of their coefficients while keeping the variables intact. First, we have terms x square and 2x square. The coefficient of x square is 1 and the coefficient of 2x square is 2. So, 1x square plus 2x square is equal to 1 plus 2 into x square and that is 3x square. So, the coefficients 1 and 2 added up to give 3 and this sum was multiplied by the variable term x square to give us 3x square. Next, we have y square plus minus 3y square. Again, adding the coefficients, we get 1 minus 3 the whole in y square, which is minus 2y square. And finally, we have minus 2xy plus 5xy. Adding the coefficients, we get minus 2 plus 5 the whole into xy, which is equal to 3xy. And so, the final answer will have the terms 3x square minus 2y square plus 3xy. This gives us the sum of the algebraic expressions as 3x square minus 2y square plus 3xy. And that is our answer. Addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions is pretty simple and straightforward. All we have to do is ensure that the like terms are together and the signs are correct. Algebraic expressions can also be multiplied together. But multiplication is something that we'll save for the next session.